This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Studies show that the adult body produces 10% less collagen every decade. If you're over 40, that should terrify you. Collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together. If you're seeing more defined wrinkles or feeling lethargic, realize it has nothing to do with your diet, sleep schedule, workout routine, or whether you smoke or drink. It has all to do with your body's natural collagen production. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Anyone over 40 should be taking advantage of this new opportunity in anti-aging technology. Learn more by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com Furthermore, you'll get 51% off your first bottle if you order today, plus a 60-day money-back guarantee. The Democrats and their state media goons are really worried right now and are losing their minds over the fact that a popular black conservative named Larry Elder is looking to replace the corrupt Democrat governor. They're panicking and throwing every smear that they can think of at Elder as if they're part of the Newsom campaign, which we all know is actually the job of our former free press to protect and promote Democrats, smear and demonize Republicans. In this case, they've gone as insanely far as to call Larry Elder a black man the quote black face of white supremacy. Over at CNN, they're horrified that a bad, corrupt Democrat governor might get replaced by a Republican. There's a recall election looming in California. And here's why it matters if you live outside the Golden State. First, because it's another Republican end run around majoritarian democracy. Majoritarian democracy? But that's not the system that we have in this country. At least on a national level, Democrats always seem to be confused about this. Democrats seem to think that democracy just means Democrats in power. When Democrats are losing or about to be recalled, we're told that their political opposition is attacking democracy. And as far as state elections go, this isn't one. This is a recall election because the Democrat governor is so bad and destructive to the state. This is exactly why California created recall elections in the first place. Because control of the U.S. Senate could hang in the balance. Now, you might have thought this was just some doomed GOP stunt because California's reliably Democrat, right? And there you have the real reason for this propaganda onslaught against Larry Elder. He threatens Democrat power. I'm no fan of one-party states, but... Well, that was a load of shit. Recall races like this aren't the right way to correct it because the rules are designed to empower extremes requiring just 1.5 million signatures. Oh, just 1.5 million signatures, huh? This is the same amount of signatures that were required for past recall elections in California, some of which involved Republican representatives. I searched and found exactly zero claims that those past election results were a stunt or kooky or unconstitutional. It's only now that Democrats are in trouble that we're being told these lies. The first question is a simple yes or no. Should the governor get recalled? Now, if more than 50% of the voters say yes, Gavin Newsom is toast, and with him, the Democrats. All you need to know is what's in the lower thirds right there. How this recall could doom Democrats. That's all that matters to Democrat state media because that's their job. Not the news, not truth, and not facts. And to that point, where in this fake report are the actual reasons for this recall? According to the petition, quote, laws he endorsed favoring foreign nationals in our country illegally over that of our own citizens, people in this state suffer the highest taxes in the nation, the highest homelessness rate, and the lowest quality of life as a result. He has imposed sanctuary state status and fails to enforce immigration laws. He unilaterally overruled the will of the people regarding the death penalty. He seeks to impose additional burdens on our state by the following, removing the protections of Proposition 13, rationing our water use, increasing taxes, and restricting parental rights. These all seem like legitimate reasons that deserve to be heard. But CNN has decided that all these people are just kooky right-wing stuntmen who are trying to overturn democracy. Which again, by their definition, simply means Democrats in charge. So because Larry Elder is the prominent opponent looking to replace Gavin Newsom, the Biden regime has come out in support saying that they'll campaign for him. And that does include the super popular cackling Camilla Harris. When Larry Elder was asked about the support from the regime by Breitbart News, he had this to say, I'll believe it when I see Joe Biden come here. I'm not sure he's going to. I understand that he's supposedly going to come here to campaign on behalf of Gavin Newsom. His popularity now is in the low 40s. I think I saw 41%. Most Americans don't even believe he's home, that somebody else is in charge. So it's going to backfire, but let him bring it in. 
in. Honestly, Biden and Camilla probably will go and campaign for him because what do they have to lose? They know that the mass media by and large is in their corner and will carry the water for them and will not attack them for doing so. But I do think there's a good chance of backfire because as we know from even recent history, the media is not really good at picking the winners. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. As always, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button on your way out and leave a comment to let me know what you think.